pictures. And uh, Where I you said, found them? I said, yeah. He said, I've just picked them up. They were <laughs> off the floor. They've all gone home. These are on the floor. There's loads more. He said, I they said, well, I'm oh, sorry about that. He said, well, why, why aren't they using them? This is all new stuff. He said, they would have been swept up. He said, and at the end of the week, how many, oh, how many bolts this. and nuts have gone? Yeah. I said, yeah, I suppose so. He says, so tomorrow, make sure you tell them all not to leave them on the floor. Put them in the cars. Yeah. <laughs> so that gives you a brief outline. Uh, but he, my personal view was he was a quite a character. Yeah. It was his business. And uh, let's be honest, I said, oh, let's be honest. We, we did a good job between us yeah, all, really. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, he, he, he was a quite a character, I'll say, but... Uh, uh, I mean, another instance is uh, he had this place at Salcombe, uh, Devon. down in Devon, and I used to go there occasional weekends with Mrs. Lyons, and then occasionally he'd say on a Friday morning, if he caught me, he'd say, "Do us the new, the new production car you're working on. How far you got?" And I'd say, "Well, we're doing this. I'm doing that." Well, do you think uh, it's possible for me to try it? And uh, I'll say, yeah, if you wish. All right, well, I'm going down to Salk on the weekend. Uh, come down on Sunday with the car. What car would this be? Oh, it could be any oh, any, right. any of the models we're okay. doing, you yeah. know. And, uh, of course, I went down so many times. And uh, so he'd say, come down on the Sunday. Uh, Jeff will take me and uh, Mrs Lyons down to Salcombe. He can drive her back Monday morning and I'll drive the new model with you back on Monday. Yeah. I'd say, fine. So I'd do that and he used to fix me up in a pub in the um, Salcombe Bay there. There was a little pub. He used to ring him up and say, give Dewis a meal and give him a room. And then um, that was it. I'd go up to to um, to the house at Salcombe on uh, uh, Monday morning, get there for seven o'clock, got to be there for seven. Yeah. And uh, he'd get in the car, just check it all out, get in and away we'd go and drive. And, and we'd be driving, it's a long way from Compton yeah. to Salcombe. And after we'd done quite a big mile, I, I used to say to him, excuse me, shall we have a coffee? And he'd say, what do you want a coffee for, Lewis? <laughs> You don't want a, we don't want a coffee yet. It's still dry. And well, then, it cost him 25p. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> then, you see, we'd get... Uh, on one occasion, I got we got to Southam, which is probably about 20-odd miles further on to, to, to go to the factory. And you'd see the, uh, the uh, petrol light come on, getting near empty, you yeah. see. It'd keep flashing. Yeah. And I'd keep watching it and I'd think, Anna, he'll see it in a minute. So you know, he'll, 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 he'll spot it in a minute. Anyway, it still goes on and gone. And then I'd, I couldn't stick it. I thought, any minute we're going to run. <laughs> we're just going to run out of fuel. <laughs> and I said, Excuse me. And he said, What, what do this? I said, The uh, petrol warning light's been on, on and off. Uh, do you think we ought to get some petrol? We don't need petrol. We don't need petrol, do this. And so you just shut up <laughs> and it goes all the way and then when we get in into Brown's Lane to, to come up the hill up to Brown's Lane, yeah, don't want to know. <laughs> the light's on permanent and I'm thinking, now nah, it's going to run out yeah. and it's your fault. <laughs> no, just gets over the top, really yeah, into is. the main gate and just we're going in the gate, <laughs> brrr, the pumps start clicking, <laughs> he's out. He's on, isn't he? Knocks it into neutral and just coast down to the petrol pump. And he pull up by the pump and just get out and he say, there you are, do it. I told you, you didn't need petrol. Right. In other words, yeah, I'm not buried out of my pockets. <laughs> it can come out of the business now. But that's the sort of, you know, I can tell so many stories Fantastic. about it. But that's, that's the sort of man he was. A lot of people, you know, moaned about him or, you know, and this. I said, look. If you don't like the job and the way he's running it, don't stop. No, Move on. Right, absolutely. I said that is how he is, yeah. and we you've got to accept it. It's his business. I bet you missed him when he retired, didn't you? Oh yes, he was. Yeah, he did. I mean, let's be honest. His heart and soul was in the business. That's yeah. that's the key point. Yeah. 
and uh, although he wasn't an engineer, but he was always around looking at the production, looking at cars, listening to things that needed to be listened to, you know, and, and then, I mean, after he went, the, the people who followed him didn't show the same no. initiative interest, because I suppose no, it's not their business, you no. see. But, uh, no, I, I got on well, you know, we had a good time together, a few ups and downers, but at the same time he was the boss, yeah, so right. you have to yeah, accept that. that. Yeah, yes, appreciate absolutely. it. Yeah. Wonderful. That's it. Wonderful.